Om Shanti and good evening. We are here with the 27th of May's God Godly Blessing where Supreme God Father, the Creator, is telling us that the greetings which we receive from Him actually help us to grow in life, to move ahead in life and to pass all the obstacles in life. And that is what is impart important for us so as to follow through and become a better person every day. So let's see what is there in the heading and then the complete description. God says, may you be multi-million times fortunate, not just a few hundreds or thousands, but multi-million times. It's got nothing to do with the money over here. Fortunate and constantly progress with the sustenance of greetings in your Brahmin life. And the sustenance of greetings is what we receive from the Supreme Creator once we follow everything which he says and we do it diligently. So God says here, at the confluence age, for the world it is Kalyug or the Iron Age, but for us who have taken the knowledge of seven days, for us the Confluence Age or the Changing Age or the time period between the transition of Kalyug to Satyug or Hell to Heaven is going on. So a lot of transitions will be going on in the world as you can see on the TV also there's a lot of turmoil and after the turmoil there's going to be complete peace and that peace will be leading us towards the Golden Age on Earth for the country India. So at the Confluence Age, Brahmins make progress with the special greetings filled with happiness. The basis of sustenance in Brahmin life is greetings. So Brahmin life means somebody who is following the footsteps of Father Brahma or Adam. From the form, from the form of the Father, the Supreme Creator, you receive greetings at every moment that He is a Father and when we follow Him or we remember Him, we receive the greetings from Him. And that happens only during this confluence age, not when we are doing devotion before this. So once we get the knowledge of who he is, who am I, and where does he stay, that's the time we can actually get the greetings from him directly. From the form of the teacher, words of well done, well done, enable you to pass with honors. That means every day when we listen to godly knowledge directly from the Supreme Creator, that's the time when we follow his knowledge and we listen to the knowledge and we imbibe those virtues in our life. We get the greetings of well done, well done. Then God says, from the form of the Sat Guru, the one who guides us, the true Guru, blessings for every elevated action you do easily give you the experience of a life of pleasure. So once we follow the Supreme Father, the teacher, and we follow his guidance and help others to also be guided by the Supreme Creator by serving others, then we receive the greetings from the Supreme Creator with a life of pleasure. That means this life when you're helping others to improve or become better people in life, then your life becomes pleasurable or full of pleasure and you're happy with yourself, content with yourself. Then God says, this is how you are multi-million times fortunate for being the children of God. The bestower of fortune. You have claimed a right to the full fortune. So now we are getting the right from three roles of the Supreme Creator himself. He is one as a father. Second, he is as a teacher. Teaching us that the transformation is happening very soon. So better change yourself, purify yourself before the transition happens. And as a true guru, guiding us towards the path to liberation and helping others to be liberated too. So he plays three parts during this conference stage itself. How does he play that part is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. It's a very incognito part, a very simple part, but only with pure mind can we understand such a great act which God is doing of transforming hell that is Kalyug into heaven or the golden age. With this, Om Shanti.